Hello, hello, everybody. How are you doing today? Como esta? Si, que es hecho? I am back. I'm back. Like I went somewhere. I ain't going nowhere. Um, so here we are. Another lovely day with this damn odorless monoma. <laughs> help me, please help me. Need to get out of this house, please. I need to get out of this house. I can't use my monoma here. I had, I don't know if anybody saw that, you know, couture sale. Well, I mean, okay, hold on. Let's be real here. Labor Day, there was all kinds of sales going on. I did jump over to uh, the Eno Couture website. I had um, reached out to Miss Marcy, Latina Nail Designs, because I was like, I know she has to know all the ins and outs of all the sales. <laughs> Where are the sales? I need to know. And uh, she she had um, informed me that Eno Couture was having a sale also that was possibly over, but maybe not. Check it out. So I did. And no, yeah, no, there was still a Labor Day sale going on. Um, at that time, I believe I used like school 30 for like 30% off. Little did I know, I put the order in, I jumped the gun and went all excited and put it in too fast and then found out like, oh, excuse me, like two hours after I placed my order that there was actually a better coupon code for 35% off. Be that as it may... I was cool with the 30%. Um, would I like 5 more percent off? Sure, who wouldn't? But I still was excited for that. I ordered those, you know, those little 2-ounce monomers. If anybody knows that he has those little 2-ounce monomers for a dollar. So those were also part of the sale. Also 30% off of a dollar. Why the hell not? I ordered a nice little bundle of them. And then was like, oh shit, can't use them here. So this is what I've decided to do. I have decided to go rogue and use some damn monomer. I haven't done it yet. It's it's in my mind right now. You know what I'm saying? This is like a plan that I have playing out in my head. I don't know the outcome of it. Me and mom might go toe to toe. But I need my damn monomer. I need my damn monomer. So anyways, I'm struggling, y'all. Do y'all see this that I'm doing? I did use the Timu acrylics, which if anybody has tried them, we all know it's quite shocking when you have these really affordable acrylics that are damn good. And this is one of them. They are little, is it one ounce jars? Are they one ounce? I can't even remember. But they're hella cheap, you know what I'm saying? And then when you see that, you're like... Ain't no way this is good shit. Ain't no motherfucking way. And then you buy it and you see butter and you're like, what kind of voodoo magic is this? You know what I'm saying? So that's what I thought. But these I never had an issue with were quite well and had used them previously in other sets. And so using this odorless monomer with these... Yo, <laughs> the struggle bus was rolling. It was real, and I was on it, looking out the window with my head sticking out and drool flying out my mouth like a dog. That's what was going on with me and these nails. I was struggling, y'all. And it wasn't like super apparent you would think looking at this sped up ass video like no she's doing cool like she's got it together she's doing it go pj yay no this little sped up version is like glitch tripping through the whole thing skipping over stuff and you can't hear me cussing out this hand the whole time so <laughs> it was just like <sighs> you know and I have no idea why I did not encapsulate the damn ombre. I don't know. I think at some point I was just like, you know what? This ain't working. It's going to be shit. Ain't no point in me trying. And I kind of started to give up. You know what I'm saying? And, and while that's not the message I want to send to all you boys and girls out there, don't give up. Never stop trying. 
Pashong, like the little engine that could. I have done that. I was like, <laughs> I'm struggling, yo. I couldn't do it. So like an idiot, like a dumbass, I started filing without encapsulating. And now please don't get me wrong because I know y'all are thinking like, amateur, what is this girl doing? I knew it and I still did it anyways. Raise your hand if any of you guys have done something when you know the outcome is doom and you do it anyways. Go on, raise your hands, everybody, because we all done it. Don't play. And that's what happened here. I did this. I filed these damn nails without encapsulating the ombre, knowing that I was filing away the ombre. Do you understand what I'm saying now? You see, like I'm watching it disappear before my eyes. And I'm really not caring. Y'all cannot see what's happening. And... I should say here, you can see just fine what's happening. I don't know why the hell I said that. Y'all can't hear what's happening. I had to edit out so much of this video towards the end because my mother... Okay. I know every stupid video that I've done since I've been here, I'm going to talk about my mom. Y'all be like, you know, you should be grateful for your mother. I am. Please trust that I am grateful for her. I'm grateful that I have her. I lost my dad. In September of last year, it has full circled, and on the 14th will be a year. And it is hard thinking about it, and I hate thinking about it. And so, obviously, I appreciate my mom, and I'm super grateful that I still have my mother. But, y'all, it's hard, dude. Oh, my God, I'm dying over here. I sat there. In this little space, right? And so, like, in my old, my house, like, where I used to live, my place, or whatever, I had my space, and that was my little safe haven where I immersed myself in my... Okay, hold on. We're going to have a little kitty moment here. Hold the hell on. It just went left turn really fast to cute town. Because I was talking all serious. <laughs> you know, cat or cat. I don't know why my daughter forced her to look up like that. So let me tell you something. I've been calling her, we call her Saya. Because she's Siamese. Or at least I think she's Siamese. Why is she stuck in there? Oh my God, I'm being interrupted over here. Cutest there? kitty cat in the whole damn world. And we're like, oh, she's so adorable. And I, I don't know why my children yeah. are talking in the background, messing up my voiceover. Anyways, cutest little kitty cat. And for some time now, she's been a she. And then my older daughter was away helping my brother with the kids babysitting. And she stayed there for a little while. Came home and destroyed all of our dreams and told us that she was a he. Yes. So he's now Sai instead of Saya. He's Sai. And my daughter's in denial that he's not a boy. And we all know he's a boy. No, okay, I'm being interrupted again. Excuse me. And I'm back. My daughter felt the need to come tell me that my phone was at 100% charge. Sometimes I think she'd just be coming around and saying stuff just so she can get a little voice recorded. I don't know. This is like a few times that she'll see me doing like a voiceover and she'll come tell me some random fact. And I think it's because she sees me doing a voiceover. She's like, I'm going to get all my mama's video, even if it's my voice. But... Bless her 10-year-old little heart. She just tries, you know what I'm saying? I don't know where little kids get their random facts from. I don't know if there's like a class they take in school or like a little group they go to when they're like on their social media. But then again, how do the really young ones do it? Because they're not on social media. But yeah, no, I, I definitely think that there's like a class they take at school excuse me, at school, it probably starts like around pre-K and it's called a random fact class, okay? This is what I've come up with. It's a random fact. Of course, they don't want to call it random fact class because then they'll be like, we will know as parents that's where they're getting it from. And then we'll be like, I don't want my daughter taking that class or I don't want my son taking that class, right? Because they be coming up with some random facts 
are they really facts? You know what I'm saying? No, they're facts to them, but they're not real facts. We know that. We know they ain't. Anyways, I go left field on subjects. Subjects? (laughs) Oh, I'm done. I'm telling y'all, I cannot talk right in voiceovers. It's not even just the voiceovers. I can't talk right, period, in general. Anyways, so when I was doing this um, set here, and I don't know why I'm froze here for so long, but I started getting to the, like, um, we're going to call it nail art portion of this. I was struggling the whole time with the, with the odorless. It's not like, I keep saying that, like, it's a huge struggle. It's not like a huge, huge struggle. It's like just getting the consistency right. And you can see me and I'm, you know, throughout the whole, and it's not even just, it's like my press, my, my press this. Okay. That's it. I'm going back to music. I ain't talking no more. I can't talk. I can't spoke. It's like my practice sets. You know what I'm saying? I struggle trying to get that, um, that ratio. You know what I'm saying? Cause this is like a threefold when you, when you have odorless, you, you're going to either just use the odorless, right? And, and try to keep the fingers far from each other so they don't stab each other and reshape the nail, right? Because that's what happens when you use odorless. It takes forever to dry. Or you're going to add some acetone and speed up the drying process. And that goes for any monomer, odorless or not. You can add acetone to any damn monomer and speed up the drying time. But um, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, my goodness. So it's not that i'm like struggling like i don't know how to do nails it's that ratio so i have to keep adding acetone and adding acetone and adding acetone oh oops too much acetone now i have to add you know the odorless like it's i'm trying to get it right and you know i still haven't gotten it perfect but it took a little minute you know, between the videos, I I, I want to say I, I had edited out a lot or paused and came back to it later because even with the acetone, it took a little bit to dry. Can I just like side note real quick also, FYI, because I know I, I had like, you know, did a video about this odorless monomer, that sassy odorless monomer. And um, while it's not that bad, I mean, it is definitely odorless. Like that's without a doubt. It's definitely, I would not do any just straight up clear nails with it i wouldn't because it has a slight yellowing effect i just want to i want to put that out there while i'm over here trying to be a spokesperson for sassy odorless monomer it has a yellowing effect but um so i'm sorry excuse me i don't know what's going on with my allergies but i went through this whole process of the nail art and and as i said y'all cannot hear what's going on <clears throat> excuse me i was trying to get to this point and i just squirreled really bad but i when i do nails i want to have a nice little place where it's just me and the nails whether it's mine or the same practice hand or whatever and i want to be able to just do it you know what i'm saying in my own little space in my own little world with my own little peaceful mind whether it be with myself in my head or with music here at my mom's house I was like, oh, damn, he's talking about her mom again. No, here at my mom's, there isn't really a place or space for that that I would be not taken away from somebody else because there's there's quite a bit of us here, you know? Just aside from me and my four kids being here, my brother is here temporarily and my nephew is here temporarily. And they each have their own room, right? And then my daughter also, I gave her her space and then my son has his own room. And of course, my mom has her own room, but um, I don't know. It's just there isn't really a place that's not hot as hell that I can have my own. Hopefully, once it starts cooling down, I want to just kind of transfer either to the back patio or um, the deck or um, the garage, right? Because the garage has its own like exhaust system because the lady that lived that built the house they were like the original of the builders and owners and then they moved out and sold the house to my my parents and it is it is a nice house it's not an old old 
because there was a fire here and they had to like rebuild it or whatever but she used to blow glass so she's got this whole exact ex <laughs> excuse me i'm sorry i'm gonna start talking slower because i can't handle this i cannot talk she has an exhaust system in the garage because she was blowing glass in there any 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 who Okay, I went back over this while I was recording. I was trying to tell this story and I ran out of time. So I had to go back and find a spot that I could stop at. Unfortunately, boys and girls, I'm going to have to leave you guys in suspense and find out what happened and what the hell I'm talking about next time. Because really, it's just rambling. I just ramble. I was <laughs> trying to like lay out like the whole so you can get a picture of where i'm at and what happened and i'll explain that later but we're coming to the end of the set y'all like i'm sorry i know y'all don't want me to go but it's time i'm just kidding i know y'all ready for me to get out this damn thing uh so this is basically what i did here i have to just keep working with the um the monomer and the acetone and just to get you know like to that point of perfection and there really never is any perfection. That's why they have changed the saying from practice makes perfect to practice makes progress. This is it, yo. This is what it came down to. And this is what it looks like at the end. I appreciate everybody who's watched it through. And if you didn't, then just skip to the end. Thank you so much. Anyways, I love you guys. Uh, and I will see y'all on the next one. Goodbye. And adios. Get them nails out of my face.